over the last few years, Metropolitan Family Service has been working towards growing our financial capability programs. We really want to see our programs serve the entire lifespan from youth to older adult. The MFS Youth Internship Program partners with um, David Douglas High School and eight local nonprofit agencies to offer 10 internship opportunities to youth who are already succeeding in school. The youth are working in the community at uh, a local nonprofit, while at the same time they're working with an MFS financial coach one on one. The first time I learned about the interns program, the in most interesting for me to learn it is. The cooking session and uh, be a leader with the children. My goal for my future is uh, to be a kindergarten teacher and cooking. I did not know anything about it when I first got in. I didn't know about credit union or bank or anything about like giving money once a month. I was actually really happy and thankful that I learned these stuff because my parents really have no time to actually teach me about these stuff and it's hard to communicate. Another way that MFS has been growing our financial capabilities programs is through our financial coaching for small business owners. Um, we work with small business owners in the Portland area. A majority of them are minority-owned businesses. I um, went to MFS um, because I was experiencing some difficulty with a credit card retail company. So how I found out that they were reporting negatively on my credit is when I pulled my credit report um, in the hopes of going forward and purchasing another property um, to expand Family Essentials. And so it really put set me back. My wife and I were on Social Security and had been for some time. Um, and I began to think, well, what am I going to do with my time? I've, I have way more time than I have money. And I, I suggested to my wife that we look at guitar slides. Maybe we could take them to music fairs. Music fairs are fun to do. Well, it got me involved with this group at Portland State called Business Outreach Program. One of the advisors in, in the classes that I was taking uh, suggested to me that I sign up for a workshop provided by MFS. Basically, took my side and told me about what, what the credit side of the world knew about me and how I can use that as a tool instead of a, a leash. We, we see asset building as kind of that pathway out of poverty because if you really want to move ahead, you need that opportunity to save, you need that opportunity to pay for those larger assets that, um, that, you, that you may take for granted that you were able to pay for. And so by introducing those topics to youth um, in high school, now they have that seed planted. Now they're thinking about their future. I like to see the face when they face or feedback when they eat my cocaine and then if they say they like it and it's very good, I was so com confident and like I have more power to cook next time and to learn more new cocaine. The financial capability curriculum that we developed for the youth in the schools, we call our Million Dollars curriculum because um, we wanted to make it more youth oriented with concepts that they could grasp on and their motivation are these little Million Dollars that they can earn. When I first got there, I, really, I was really nervous because I had to teach money to kids. When I assist them, I was, I was told to just like help them how to like fill out these papers, how to add this number and this number and combine this number to create more money. It was a little bit challenging for me to actually do something that I know and can teach very well to them. I'm really glad I took the, the workshop because I got to meet Mark. He has uh, a program for, uh, for saving money. You put in one dollar and it's augmented with three more. And had it not been for that, uh, I wouldn't be able to save toward a car because while I am saving $75 a month toward a car, having someone else invest in me money that will lead to a car means that I don't have that burden on the starting of my business. I see an economy these days that is excluding people. 
uh, increasing amounts of people and it's in an inequitable way. A little tiny bit of information can really go a long way and can change somebody's life. I, I can't thank MFS enough um, helping me overcome that barrier um, so that now Family Essentials can move forward with continuing to help families and helping more families. The fact that I got involved with MFS opened a whole new range of services and, and uh, individuals that never would have been a part of my life had I not gone to that one series of classes that referred me. And, it, you know, thank God you guys are out there. I think it's really great that you're doing what you do.